When it comes to strong will and determination, this month's Swiss Strong feature takes the cake. In two years, he's managed to do what many athletes spend their entire lives training for, and he's not letting anything get in the way of him and his Olympic dreams, not even a brain tumor. Justin Kane ah! is no stranger to athletic success. And I have a bullish sense of wanting to accomplish anything, no matter how impossible it is. At 32 years old, Justin holds the U.S. Paralympic record in shot put in discus and is ranked first in the nation in both those events, long jump and the 100 meter dash. I knew I could accomplish some great things, but to know I was able to do these things in the first year of ever doing this, um, is something pretty incredible. But Justin wouldn't be where he is today had it not been for an untied shoe back in 1993. I bent down to untie my shoe and there was this massive pain, um, like nothing I've ever felt before or since. And it just crushing on my head and I shot up and I said, Dad, my head. It was Justin's first day of the fourth grade. He was just 10 years old and having a massive brain hemorrhage, the result of a cancerous tumor on his cerebellum. It was scary, but there wasn't any time to think about it and get worrying about it. It was okay, now we gotta fight back. Justin underwent emergency surgery and given just a 40% chance of survival. He made it, but lost his ability to walk, talk and swallow in the process. It was like I was I was trapped in a body that didn't understand what I was trying to do and I had to reteach it. It took years. It was extremely frustrating. But Justin was eventually able to relearn everything the tumor took away. He went on to graduate high school and college. He started his own company and a family but couldn't help but feel like something was missing and that was athletics. So he decided to give track and field a try, learning everything he could by watching YouTube videos. After six months of virtual training, he signed up for the 2014 Michigan Victory Games. And I uh, won uh, 11 of my 15 events. Uh, and then I went out the next year and I won all 15 of my 15 events. And I thought, you know, maybe it's time to move to the next level. The Paralympics. Ah. Justin's eligible because he suffers from ataxia. That was a better one. As a result of his brain tumor, which makes him unable to fully control his bodily movements. Thankfully, I got a towel out here. Making balance and coordination a challenge. So I, I tried it out, competed in long jump shot put and discus, and I won first in all, my, all the events made nationals in all the events, and uh, I actually set a U.S. record uh, in discus. And he's not stopping there. Justin's hired a coach and a trainer nice. and has his sights set on Rio and the U.S. Paralympic team. He's been just a full steam ahead. Uh, I don't see anything getting in his way. All right, push, push, push. Putting in long hours inside of the gym. Dig deep, dig deep. And out. Good. Life is not about waiting for the rain to pass. It's about training in the rain. Letting nothing get in the way of him right. and his Olympic dreams. I think the sky's the limit, and I think it's going to be a matter of time before he brings home a gold. I, I would be over the moon excited. The whole reason I'm doing this is because I'm a childhood cancer survivor. And hopefully soon, a Paralympic gold medalist. Qualifications for the U.S. Paralympic team will be June 30th through July 2nd in North Carolina. Justin will find out if he makes the team two days later. He's currently fundraising to help cover the cost of the trip. You can find a link on our website, fox47news.com.